hello and welcome again to Blue Garden Cottage. Lovely to have you along with us and thank you so much for those who have been contributing to the comments on the channel. It's been lovely to hear from you. I do encourage you all to do have a chat with me when you feel like and do comment. So I wanted to do three different videos and post them on different days because I wanted a proper chat but that wasn't going to happen. It's been extremely busy um, and I'll show you why in a minute. We made a start on those raised beds and I will do a proper video to do with that another day. Not right now. I just want to show you a little bit of progress, see where we are, but I'll make a proper video when they're all completely finished and I'll share with you what we did then. There you are. There's two of the beds made with the corrugated metal and beams. We've put some capping planks on the top to protect people from the edges of the metal. We didn't want any nasty accidents. We still have a bit of tweaking to do because we need to put a board behind there and screw that metal to it so it doesn't come out from underneath those the top capping planks. I need to tweak that corner a bit, it's too low, so we have to raise that up a bit. And we've started but not completed that bed. There's still a lot of work to go into that one. And then another one to go there and another one here and then we'll be ready to fill them up and get the beds ready for planting I did transplant the winter veggies as I could into that corner at the bottom I don't even know if you can see it beautiful sunny day today we had that very stormy week last week and this week is completely beautiful it's cold freezing cold we had half a degree celsius this morning look at that mess that's from using the chop saw on the table this morning so my veranda has been a bit of a workshop lately rather than a place to chill so that's an update for the beds so far and how they're going well it's such a pity i couldn't sit outside to chat with you because i really want to do there's a lovely warm sunshine even in the cold but that sunshine is so bright and so low that no matter what angle I sat at, I looked like it was this alien glow that would blind you. So, not the ethereal look I'm looking for. But that garden is now a bit bare for my liking. I don't like it so bare and I missed my height. I want my arches, so there's still a lot to go on in that garden. I'll keep you updated with that. The other thing I wanted to talk to you about, sorry, the table's bumping a little, so the video will shake. Let's see if I can move you a bit further over. That might help a little. So, um, yeah, a couple of things. I actually splashed out. Wasn't much, but it's splashing out. I bought some buttons, some blue buttons, lovely different ones. And that is going to make a new lampshade for the lamp up there in the corner to match my blue theme. And I also ordered and received some stick-on tiles of lots of different designs. I got two packs of those, enough for three tiles to go on each riser of the staircase so I can finally, I mean we've been here five years and that's the, that's those stairs have not seen a lick of paint or a cleaning or sanding since then. So we're going to be doing that in the new year as soon as we can and with, with the white and the blue, blue theme the stairs will be tidied up because I don't want carpets anywhere in this house. I mean, you know, we have this carpet here in the living room and it's absolutely ruined. It doesn't look as blue as it was when we first had it. This house cannot have carpets, so no carpets downstairs. It's a mess. And definitely not on the stairs because that gets a mess. And the amount of dog hair that we have to keep sweeping up down the stairs. You wouldn't believe it. Handful a day. But there you go. That's part being German Shepherd for you. She's part German Shepherd and that's what we live with 365 days a year is dog hair. Worth it. She's lovely and I wouldn't swap her for anything. I just would not like to have that much hair to clean up. But other than that, that's not what I wanted to talk to you about. I'm waffling and I'm rambling off into all sorts of directions. Um, the one thing that really wanted to mention, and I don't know that I've got enough battery on my phone even to get through it, is YouTube and if you're a creator then you probably already know because last week YouTube brought in some changes 
those changes won't affect creators who are on the YouTube partnership program. I will put a link in the description box below for Creator Fundamentals channel that I watch and whenever there's a notification that comes up about changes to YouTube then I definitely make sure because he knows exactly what's happening and he will tell you exactly he's really helpful especially when it comes to creating videos then I will um, I will go and check his channel because if there's something related to making videos and posting on YouTube that's related to me then I will then I'll watch it and I'll try to learn from it. and I've learned so much already so creator fundamentals check out the link down below in the description box and his channel is really brilliant he doesn't even know I'm putting that on there but I'll tell you anyway um so from what I can remember from what he said last week about YouTube changes the gist of it that would affect me is that because I'm not part of the YouTube membership uh, membership program the YouTube partnership program YouTube can put adverts on my channel without my permission or any small channel or any channel that's not part of the YouTube partnership program and a couple of other subscription things for th that go with YouTube I'm not even sure what they are but generally I am a small channel I have under a thousand subscribers and under 4,000 watch hours I think it's per year so for me to avoid having YouTube put adverts on my channel and me not earn a single penny from it because the creator doesn't earn anything from those adverts, it goes straight to YouTube. It's their business. They're allowed to do that. They can, it's within their legal parameters to do that, to put adverts on your channel without your permission and make money from it and you don't get a single penny. Um, so I thought that was a bit cheeky really of just doing that because I did not want adverts to come on my channel. I did not want to monetize my channel because I didn't want adverts on my channel. I don't want to bog down my viewers with adverts. It's annoying. I don't like it myself. I understand there are creators who are using it as part of their income and I might one day have to do that if I'm trying to escape <clears throat> the system and try and make an income and every little income source that I can, I should utilize. But I just don't like adverts. I hate it unless it's adverts to do with my own um, project here with Blue Garden Cottage and telling you about books or projects or things coming up or books, uh, not books, courses and things that I want to create, then that's different. But adverts as in general advertising, I didn't want to annoy you guys with that. I really didn't want to. It's horrible. I thought that you'd at least have a few channels that, you know, that I know of who don't put adverts on either. Um, where you could come and know you're not going to be interrupted all the time with adverts. Um, it's just another invasive thing. So, and there's nothing I, there's nothing I can do about it or anybody else. That's just the way they work. That's YouTube. It's a business. So the only way you can escape that is to monetize your channel and become part of the YouTube partnership program. And you can only do that if you have a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So, I guess that at some point they might actually just put adverts on my channel without my permission. Um, so I guess the only way if you don't want to see adverts on your, I don't know what to do see because if you monetize your channel you're going to put adverts on it anyway. Can you monetize your channel without getting adverts on it? Can you do that? Could you be part of the YouTube partnership program without monetizing? I'm going to have to ask him about that and check if I can do that because I don't want adverts on my channel I might not have a choice but to be able to become part of the YouTube product partnership program I do need those things so I don't know how you feel about it but when you watch my videos it would really really help I'm so trying to make it worth watching from beginning to end um, <laughs> or watch a bull from beginning to end so that people don't click through or scroll through too quickly or just don't want bother finishing it. I hope it's not that boring. Um, so please do watch right the way through the, the, the videos. Do like, subscribe, share. Those things really do help. Um, the subscribers as well to get to a thousand at least just to be able to prevent YouTube from making money off my back without my permission and annoying my viewers. 
just because I have a very small channel with less than a thousand subscribers and I'm not part of the YouTube partnership program which at some point might cost and there's that also apparently has you have to watch the video you have to go to um creative fundamentals to watch the video there are a few other creators as well that are dealing with the subject but i just i just like the way he explains it it's very to the point it's very explanatory and in-depth and simple to understand so he also mentions that because of the changes there will probably be implications for copyright and taxation for those who make money off their youtube channels which is fair enough that's fine i don't mind staying on the right side of the law but there you go, that is what's been on my mind. Along with a lot of other things, of course, as well. Do you know what? I think I'm just gonna spill it now. What's the date today? I have no idea, what's the date? Because we said, yeah, it's only, it's not quite 28th is Saturday, Friday or Saturday. So it's not even December yet. It might offend your ears if I mention Christmas before the 1st of December. But I think it's only fair to say this before because it's related. Some people might be planning to get things ready and done before the Christmas period really starts kicking in. So I just thought I'd like to say, because I wanted to say to friends, family, and I was just going to post a specific video on Facebook just for my personal friends and family. But there's just not enough time of time in the day um so i'll just spill the beans then shall i christmas i'm not talking about christmas i'm talking about um friends and family and people who know us who are generous wonderful lovely people who shower us with their love every year and it sometimes feels a bit ungrateful to turn down gifts and i don't do that so we end up with things that we can't use for reasons or one reason or another um excuse me hands by my mouth that's very rude um we usually end up with these you know these great big tins of chocolates wrap individually wrapped little chocolates selections and over the very many years that's what's become a tradition we've always got things like that and big boxes of biscuits and all sorts of goodies and treats that usually are very you know not good for us especially with us hubby and myself trying to be more healthy and we have we're well on our way to being whole food plant-based we're slightly edging off vegan to whole food plant-based because vegan still involves a whole range of very highly processed junk food that's one of our weaknesses as well so we go for the old vegan alternatives of the cheeses of the meaty type stuff um and that is where our downfall is that's why we struggle to get to a healthy weight to be able to just keep going we don't want to be skinny we're way past caring about what people think of our shape and our size we are at a stage where we just want to be healthy as far as we possibly can and with you know with the usual things of aging and with fibromyalgia and arthritis and all that it just helps to lose a bit more weight to take a bit more pressure off some of those things won't go away but at least on a whole food plant base we'll be as healthy as we can be to the best of our ability and the rest is just what will happen so that's what we're trying to do and we're not trying to be ungrateful to the very generous lovely people who are around us who just shower us with their love every year and with things you know with, with food stuffs because who doesn't love food right but we really just are begging you please don't give us chocolate especially the selections boxes please don't give us all that naughty stuff that is not going to help us and especially if it's not vegan or, or uh, whole food plant-based i think it's a bit cheeky to, to put down a list of what we want we don't want anything from you except your love as you always have given us that is enough your smile your love your cheer is all we need all we want you don't need to give us anything if you really 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 want to get us something well food storage stuff for the cupboards garden stuff seeds compost you know those kind of things put a bow on it it's a present that will do fine 
but please bear in mind that we are trying to take control of our health and responsibility for it as part of what we have done to be self-reliant and self-reliance as you know is part of a lot of what we do at Blue Garden Cottage. I hope that's not been super boring to you this is just a general chat and a bit too much detail for most people of keeping it platonic but you know what my channel is only tiny and you guys can be like friends so it's still safe just to let you know a bit more about myself personally so I'm not too embarrassed then I'll save myself some time on Facebook as well because I never actually go on my personal Facebook page anymore I don't have the time to do that to sit and scroll Facebook and most of the time on the I, I don't do the news feed because there are so many sometimes negative posts that come along and I just don't want to see them I don't want them in my home I don't want that kind of attitude or atmosphere in my home so I don't bother with it I still use the Blue Garden Cottage one which is a public page for everybody to visit I haven't actually posted much for a little while though I should more regularly post more albums and a few more things the website has totally gone by the by I haven't touched that because it's been so busy with so much going on but yeah I don't do personal Facebook page. I don't hardly ever touch it. I'll, the only reason I ever look there is to keep up with family and close friends um, because most of my family live abroad. So to um, that's the only reason I ever check. Well, actually, Hubby checks my Facebook page for me daily to check if there are any urgent messages. Um, and that I really appreciate that. He really helps me that way. It saves me having to sit and scroll because you know the danger of sitting and scrolling is that time just disappears like that and just like that it brings me to the point where I have to say goodbye now because all that work we've done in the garden this week has now left me with a totally messy house so bad that I have to go and tidy up now because it's the weekend starting tomorrow and by the afternoon after school my granddaughter comes to stay over and then my grandson on Saturday so the children will be here tomorrow and we need the place to be tidy and clean so that all our time can be dedicated to just having fun and spending time with each other so I'm going to love you and leave you now so that I can get this house all tidy so that our visit with my grandchildren can be a happy one and I'm sure you'll forgive me prioritizing that so all of you lovely wonderful subscribers and friends and viewers whoever you are I appreciate you I don't mind staying a small tiny channel and keeping it personal and cozy but I do need your help in this one I don't like I think I don't want to become a, just another patsy for another big organization and I um, I hope you agree with me if not that's perfectly fine that's okay each to their own and I don't hold it against you at all but saying that I think I'll leave it there you guys have a really good week until I chat with you again and if I do get a chance to post another video before next Thursday as Thursday is the day I usually post videos if I get a chance I will post another video for you if not I will see you next Thursday do take care everyone have a good week I'll speak to you soon bye bye